Welcome to all of you in my YouTube channel, Maths with Munir. I hope you all are doing great. So I'm going to make another YouTube video uh, on my channel, which is about financial mathematics. If you have gone through the several playlists that I have created on my YouTube channel, over there I have already explained what actually the financial mathematics is and why we are using. In financial mathematics, we have a deep concern about simple interest and compound interest, which is basically yeah, our daily lives term, which most of the time the bankers are quite uh, regularly using it. All right. So I, I have given a brief introduction about simple interest and compound interest in my uh, previous video while I was covering financial mathematics. And for all of you who are watching my channel for the first time, I will mention the link of that video in my uh, description so that you could have a better understanding uh, of financial mathematics before we go further deep into this uh, topic. All right, so just to have a quick overview for the new students who are watching my channel for the first time, I would like to explain that what is actually simple interest is and what actually the compound interest is. Simple interest is basically whenever you are depositing a principal amount of, let's say, you know, $100 into, into your bank account, and you are keeping that money for like a period of two years and the bank says that okay mr x we are going to give you uh, a profit at the rate of let's say six percent per annum if you keep that hundred dollar for two years so you will always be at the end of the first year you will be getting a profit of six percent per annum on hundred dollar and at the end of the second year, again, you will be having a profit of 6% per annum on your principal amount, which was your primary amount, which was $100. Okay, so that is basically the simple interest. And compound interest is a term, in easier words, we can say that profit on profit basically is called compound interest. So let's suppose you are keeping your $100 for two years and the bank says that we will be giving you 6% per annum profit as a compound interest. So it means that at the end of the first year, the amount, the total amount in your account is going to be $106, all right? So at the second year, at the end of the second year, you will not be getting a 6% per annum profit on $100, but you will be having the profit of 6% per annum on the current amount that you are having, which is $106. So you see, you already got a profit of $6 on $100. So we see that's a profit. So by the end of the second year, you will be getting again profit on the amount which you already got as a profit. So profit on profit is basically called um, compound interest. So now over here, we, we have two formulas that we are going to deal with them. And if you remember those two formulas, then you can solve uh, simple interest and compound interest very easily. Although there is a, a deep detail uh, related to how you know the situation is going to be changed, when you are having a profit as per month or sometime on weekly basis or the bank says that you are going to have a profit on daily basis. So in that way, the situation is going to be changed. So since we have just started this topic and we are going to keep things simple. So let's suppose that, you know, someone is depositing a principal amount of $12,000 into a bank account and the interest rate is, let's say, 8%. 8% per annum and the time is for seven years. So what do we have to do? We have to find out that how much simple interest, which is represented by I, he will get at the end of seven years and what would be the total amount? What would be the total amount? So these are the two things that we have to find it out. So to begin with, first of all, you need to use this formula I is equals to PRT over 100, okay? So you need to keep that formula in your mind. So remember over here, we have four things in this formula. I, which is simple interest, P, which is your principal amount, R over 100. R over 100 combined together, it says rate per rate percent, okay? And time, T represent with time. So if any of the three things have been given to you, you can always find out the fourth one by using this formula very easily. Okay, so we'll plug in the value, principal amount is 12,000 and R is eight and T is seven over 100. Once you do these calculation on calculator, 
and let's check what it will give you. It will give you 12,000 times 8 times 7 and divided by 100, so of course two zeros are going to cut out. So it will give you $6,720. So this is basically your only interest, which we say simple interest. So you have to keep the difference between the interest and amount. So this is the interest that you have got over seven years. So at the end of the seven years, the total amount in your bank is going to be the principal amount that you deposited in your bank was 12,000 along with the interest that you have got 6,720. So when you add these two numbers, it will give you 18,000. Seven, it was and six eighteen and eighteen thousand seven hundred and twenty dollars. So this is the total amount that you are going to get at the end of the seven years in your bank account. So that's the first thing. Now I'm not going to uh, solve question related to you know when interest is being given to you, principal amount is given to you, and time is being given. So how can you find out part? So it's a simple mathematics. What you have to do is. Any three things have been given to you, you can always find out the fourth one. So that's quite simple, simple interest by using this formula. Okay, now let's suppose that if, uh, if we have been given a question like the same question, so P is equal to, let's say we have $12,000 and the bank says the rate is going to be 8% uh, per annum and then the time is going to be seven years. So what we have to do is that we have to find out the amount now 8% per annum compound interest 8% per annum it's not a simple interest remember it's a compound interest and I told you already compound interest means that profit on profit okay so how you are going to use the formula now so amount A is going to be equals to P into 1 plus r over 100 power n so n is basically you can say or you can either write n or you can write t since i use n over here so i'm going to change this t into n so basically both represent number of years okay plug in the value so 12,000 into 1 plus r was 8 percent do not try to write another 100 extra over here percent this percent is already being written in the formula so do not try an additional hundred over here and n is going to be seven okay so once we solve this and uh, twelve thousand into uh, one plus then fraction h over hundred remember for those students who are going to be appear for their uh, IGCSC exam, they know that in their both paper, which is basically P2 and P4, so they are allowed to use calculators. So do not try to be over smart by messing up with the questions. So these are simple calculations, so you have to go along with that. So it means that you will be having 20,566, I rounded off. So this is the amount, total amount that you will be having at the end of the seven years so over here when it was simple interest we were having eighteen thousand seven hundred and twenty dollar okay now remember if if the question is like you need to find out that how much interest you have got while you are having eight percent per annum compound interest so you know that the total amount is always p which is your principal amount plus the interest we know that a over here is twenty thousand five hundred and sixty six and principal amount over here is 12,000 plus I. So you can get your I very easily by subtracting 20,566 minus 12,000. So that will give you uh, 20,566 minus 12,000. I just got the mistake that I wrote over here. Oops. Over here, 1200. It is supposed to be 12,000. Okay, so when you do this subtraction, so it means that you got $8,566 interest over here. Okay, so in this video, we have covered upon about what actually the simple and compound interest is, and we have taken one example and we have solved 
uh, for the simple interest and for the compound interest as well. So in my coming videos, we will be keeping this topic in more detail and we will look upon that how things are going to be changed when the rate that you are having is going to be either it's going to be weekly basis or daily basis or per month so how it's how it's going to affect your whole scenario so if you're watching my channel for the first time i would really encourage you to subscribe and do share with your friends so that most of most students can have the benefit from it. see you in another video